Something worth remembering is that there is nothing easy about moving miles and miles away from home. I always discover something new every day, whether it be a new lingo or a new accent. I notice that when they greet, you know, they go, hey, how are you? Uh, they don't really mean how are you, how are you? How are you is part of the greeting, which is very interesting to me for some reason. And instead of hey, sometimes they also go heya. So there was a period where I'd go, heya, how are you? Hey ya, hey ya. <laughs> so yeah, that's quite that was that was fun. <laughs> and also instead of breakfast, lunch and dinner, it goes brekky, dinner and tea. <laughs> Which is really it's new to me, all of that. But the point is it helps to know that you're not alone going through all of this. You know, when I miss home, when I miss Indonesian food, when I miss speaking Indonesian to people, I always have the Indonesian society to fall back on and that is a nice security blanket. And when at home I do weekly equestrian sports, I also join the equestrian club and everyone was so welcoming and I learned so much more about horse riding there than I do here. I didn't realize then that societies, on top of teaching you new things and giving you a new experience. They could also be a way to stay connected to pieces of home. 